brother's bringing out is totally right, man. Give me Proverbs 12 and 1. But the brother said it's totally right. In the black and Latino community, we are missing correction, man. There's a lot of flaws and mistakes in all of our generations that need to be corrected, man. And we cannot correct it by, oh, there's something wrong. We're going to go vote for a president. Because we have done that. We did that with Barack Obama. We do that with this president, that president. And what has been the end result? Nothing. There's been no success for the black and Latino community, man. But we can have a, we can correct our neighborhoods. We can we can correct our neighborhoods, man. We can't keep it. We can't have the black man and the black elder men to write these laws in our neighborhood. We can't have black fathers be strong again and black men be strong again in their community, man. We can't protect our women in our community, but we have to love correction first. And the issue is we hate being corrected. God said don't do certain things, and we say, oh God, no matter how, He know I'm gonna do it, and we end up and we end up dying because of it. God said don't eat this. We said God knows my heart, and we eat it anyway, and we end up getting sick and getting high blood pressure and diabetes because we hate correction. Right. Go ahead and read up. Just the book of Proverbs, chapter twelve, verse twenty-one. Verse one. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. Read that again. Come on, come. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. Guess what? And us as, and us as black people, we hate instruction. The Bible says, who else, who, whoever loves to be instructed, loves what? Love knowledge. You love knowledge if you love to be instructed. Just like just like any person, any any athlete, any actor. Any person who wants to pass high school and pass college, you have to be instructed by a teacher. How, 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 did, how did NBA players like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, how did they get good? Through instruction, through having coaches, through having teachers, to teach them how to become better in basketball. How did foot players become better? Having a good coach, and they become a, they become a better player. How do, people, how do people get a degree, a PhD, a doctorate? They have a professor, and they go to tutoring, and they pass their exams. How does how do a, a lawyer pass a bar by studying and having someone instructed to be a lawyer? Black man and Latino man, how the hell are, are, are our lives going to get better? We have to be instructed by God, and we have never been instructed by God. I know you're confused because Grandma took you to church on Sunday. Guess what? Church did not teach us God. We had the Bible. The book was there, but when you opened it, we did not learn out of it, man. What we learned was what America taught the pastor to tell us. That's why when the pastor tells us to celebrate Christmas and all these things, when you look up Christmas and Easter, it's a pagan holiday. It has nothing to do with Jesus. It has nothing to do with God. It's a pagan holiday. All these things, we, so even certain things. When you are eating, when you at church eating pork, the law in the, in the Bible is just like you, you think you think not eating pork is a Muslim thing. No, the Bible said it first before the damn Quran. Right. The Bible said it first. Our, our, our women and our daughters being our women and our daughters being prostitutes and whores. Our daughters, our daughters being Lil Kim and Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. And, and, and there's always a new one, Megan Thee Stallion. Then there's a new one. Then there's a new one. And there's a new whore every 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 couple years. Right. That's because America's telling our black women how to be, telling them telling them that this is the way to be. Twerk on TikTok and twerk on the gram and get and get a, a million likes and a hundred thousand likes. It's against God. Right. You don't want to. You hate being. And when you hear me, when you hear me telling you God's words. You hate it because you hate correction. Right. But guess what? Guess what God said about people who hate correct who hate correction. Let's read Proverbs twelve and two. Read on. Oh God. This is the book of Proverbs chapter twelve verse two. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked device. I right, read this. All right, go read one. Go ahead. Oh God. This is the book of Proverbs chapter twelve verse one. Whoso loves instruction loves knowledge, but he that have reproof. If you if you if you love correction, you love knowledge. But if you if you hate what? But he have reproof. 
If you hate being reproved, if you hate being corrected, then what? It's brutish. Then you are brutish. You are stupid. Look up to the definition of brutish. Because brutish is an old English word for stupid. God is calling you stupid if you hate being corrected. That's in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. Yeah, God yeah, God called us stupid because we hate being corrected. Right. And here in America, we're told to choose by two gods. You got the God of the Bible, then you got the, then you have the new God of America. You have the white man. You have America who's telling us, no, follow this way. Don't follow God. America's t as America has always been Satan. You think Satan is you, you think Satan is under your feet. No, Satan is all around us. That's right. It's walking around you, it's in your cell phone, it's telling it's, it's telling you, young man, to be gay. It's right. telling our woman to, to kiss the to lick on a suck on another woman. Right. But it's all evil, man. Right. Go ahead, get a definition of brutish. Read. Brutish meaning. Being unfilling and stupid. Being up God is calling us unfilling and stupid if we don't want to follow his laws. Read it again. Oh God. Whoso love instruction, love knowledge. But he that hated reproof is brutish. If you hate it reproof, you are brutish. Brutish means you are stupid. Why? Because this, very simple. Let's let's start let's start with us, the black community. Let's start with dysfunctional fam uh, black and Latino families, right? In these days, in, th in this day and age, we cannot stay together. We cannot stay married or stay um, a two-parent home. There's a lot of single black mothers in America. Why is that? Because we don't know what family is. We've been taught what family. We don't. We have not been taught what family is. Well, guess what? God said, if you lay down with a woman, she's your wife. It don't take a. It don't take a ring. It takes sex. Sex is marriage. If you say, if you lay down with a woman, that's your wife. Plain and simple, and it's, and, it's, and it's in the laws of God. And guess what God also said? God said, don't leave her. Jesus Christ hates divorce. Right. Hates it. Hates divorce. The only reason why Moses made the letter of divorce is because we were too cruel to each other. So Moses said, here, take the law of divorce because you are fighting each other and beating each other up. But Christ said, if we forgive each other and love each other and correct each other and love each other, we can stay married. That's right. But here in America, marriage, this is not marriage in America. This is your drink, you, you have a dream, you watch too much TV and too many magazines, you, 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 you fantasize, you want the orgasm of the, the wedding, you want, the, you want the, the wedding ceremony, that's what you want. After that, you don't care, you don't, you don't, you don't think about what's after. You don't think about the good and the bad. You don't think about staying together with each other and growing together and compromising together. You don't think about that. So the moment when you don't, the moment when you two, when you two disagree, you leave each other. And Christ hates that. That's right. And that's what's wrong. That's that's one thing that's wrong with the black and Latino community. But thank God the priests of God are here in front of your face so that I should be gay. Right. To teach you the truth of the Bible, man. Go ahead and teach you the truth, boy. Go ahead. Get that priest and prophet, sir. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven than the sounds. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord yeah. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword okay. 144,000 men on one accord uh. Not being in this army is something you can't afford oh, Real yeah. niggas across the board, ain't no suckers round us uh. You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up yeah. We got the order from the king, round the troops up yeah. Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, uh. ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power, standing uh. strong like a man in our camp, it ain't no cowards. Nah. Hundred forty four grand, nigga, it's step before the sun. Rather die like a man, man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours. I'd rather die 